In this video, we will describe soil sample testing using the TCLP hazardous waste filtration system. At a minimum, you will need the TCLP hazardous waste filtration system. Replacement parts are available for this system. For the application described, you will also need the following accessories. In this video, we have labeled the components of the TCLP system for quick reference based on the table below. This is the TCLP hazardous waste filtration system. Your setup will require a standard high output pump capable of positive pressure as well as a 2-liter polypropylene bottle for inorganic contaminants or a borosilicate glass bottle for organic or mixed organic inorganic contaminants. A 142-millimeter glass fiber filter is typically used for processing. It should be washed with one normal nitric acid if metal analysis is performed. However, not for non-volatile or semi-volatile substances. This is the base of the TCLP hazardous waste filtration system. This is the system cylinder or barrel. All contact surfaces within the hazardous waste filtration system are PTFE lined to ensure that no chromium leaches from the stainless steel interior. The bottom of the base has a rubberized surface for leak prevention. Your system also comes with a PTFE coated photo etched filter support screen backed by an under drain support that fits into the assembly bottom plate. First, take a 142 millimeter filter and carefully center it on the filter support screen. Next, take the filtration system cylinder and place it onto the bottom plate, aligning it with the filter. Then, place the assembly top plate on the extraction cylinder. This is the filtration assembly valve vent. It assists in releasing pressure from the assembly. Wrap each of your components with standard PTFE tape to ensure an airtight seal. This tape should be applied to the threads of each male fitting, securely wrapping the fixture two or three times prior to screwing them into place. Once taped, screw the assembly valve vent securely into the assembly top plate. Finally, secure the top plate in place using the hand wheels. Use the hand wheel wrench to firmly tighten the hand wheels. Carefully add 100 grams of representative sample into the sample inlet of the assembly top plate. This sample must be evaluated prior to processing for particle size, pH, and percent solids in order to determine the extraction solvent volume required for the test. After determining the proper solvent volume required, add your solvent to the sample inlet of the assembly top plate. The filtration assembly comes with a silicon gasket, which must be centered on the sample inlet of the top plate. Next, position the pressured airline onto the inlet. Secure the airline in place with the tube clamp accessory. Be sure to use a screwdriver to tighten and secure the hose clamp. Starting at 0 PSI, start applying pressure in increments of 10 PSI and hold pressure at each 10 PSI for 2 minutes. 
collect any liquid that is extracted during this pressurization process. This liquid is called the primary leachate and can be analyzed immediately or stored at 4 degrees Celsius for future analysis. Continue pressurization until 50 PSI is reached or when air starts to pass. Disassemble the filter holder by unclamping the airline and unscrewing the hand wheels. Remove the top plate and carefully lift the assembly cylinder. Carefully transfer the filter and its contents to a 2-liter bottle for extraction. If during initial evaluation it is determined that the waste contains more than 0.5% solid material, then the solid is extracted with 20 times the volume of extraction liquid. Selection of the extraction fluid is based on the pH of the waste. For a pH below 5, a solution of sodium acetate and acetic acid is used. For a pH above 5, a solution of acetic acid is used. Introduce the appropriate volume of extraction fluid to the 2-liter bottle and tightly screw down the lid. Extraction contents are mixed using an end-over-end -end rotary agitator at 30 RPM for 18 hours. Be sure to properly balance the agitator with a counterbalance for an equal weight. The counterbalance must be placed on the same side as the sample in the agitator to achieve balance using this device. As in the previous extraction, take a 90 millimeter filter and carefully center it on the filter support screen of the assembly's bottom plate. Assemble the filtration setup as for the collection of the primary leachate. Pour the agitated sample extract into the sample inlet of the assembly top plate. Reattach the airline as before, inserting the gasket and clamping the hose in place. Once again, apply pressure in increments of 10 PSI and hold pressure at each 10 PSI for two minutes. Collect any liquid that is extracted during this pressurizing process, continuing pressurization until 50 PSI is reached. This collected liquid is called the secondary leachate. This filtrate and the primary liquid obtained in the first round of filtration, the leachates, can be combined and analyzed together if they are miscible with each other. If they are not miscible, they must be analyzed separately.